My name is Mark Rodway, I'm a director and I've been working in the film industry for about 20 years now. I'm Matthew Taylor, I'm the DP for this job. I've worked with Canon cameras for a number of years now. Uh, we've worked with a Canon 5D Mark II, Mark III, um, the C300 Mark I and Mark II. But often when we're looking for a camera that's kind of small and compact and easy to use. I think when the Canon 5D Mark II came out, the image quality of the video surprised everybody. It probably even surprised Canon in terms of just what you could get out of it and, and you know how it could be used. I think since then Canon have built a range of products around uh, the Cinema EOS cameras for filmmakers that you know make make uh, working with Canon cameras really really easy to use. Their size and you know the the cost of them makes them a very good place to to start in the world of film and I think learning the basics is quite a good tool. I've used them all you know loads for like short films and things like that in the past and I think they definitely have a place. Canon approached me to make a music video using the 5D Mark IV. Uh, I thought it was a really interesting challenge to try and find uh, you know, uh, creative ways of, of showing off the new features within the camera. Uh, this is the first video camera I've ever used with autofocus on and to be honest I was really impressed. I, I'd never ever thought it would be so, so good. The tracking and the, you know, the, the face detection I think was really good. So the first shot of the film is a 15 second tracking shot. We're coming, walking back with the actor under these arches. Uh, we used a Movi Steadicam for that shot. So we're filming at 4K and auto-focusing on his face using uh, the camera's facial recognition. And it worked extremely well. I, th I think virtually every take, it held focus for the whole duration of the take, which is pretty impressive. Which I was surprised by, and I think all the crew were surprised by too. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna change things. Another feature we used extensively on the shoot was uh, triggering the camera via Wi-Fi over a tablet. Uh, we had a camera externally mounted as a rig shot and we were triggering that from inside the car as we were driving around. You can adjust exposure and you can adjust ISO and um, change your shutter speed settings and even monitor and record and cut the camera from. So when we come out into a bright sunshine, we could, we could stop down the exposure and if we went under some arches or something like that, we can again open up the iris to compensate. So it, it saves us from stopping the car, getting out of the car uh, and, and doing all those adjustments on the camera before setting up again. So it saved us a lot of time. We had the, the camera in the car as well, in the back shooting. And obviously the size made it very easy to rig to the car and to have in the back of the car. Like you could get a shot from anywhere, from between the seats, above the seats. Um, all around the, ca the car really quite easily. So for this film we're shooting everything 4K and that 4K is pixel for pixel off the sensor so there's no marring at all. Uh, and there's something about the image as well for the Canon cameras that's just slightly softer maybe, there's something more filmic about it than you get on a lot of other cameras. Especially for low light shooting it's quite useful. The noise levels are a lot lower than previous models. Um, and even if you push the ISO quite far, say 4,000, 5,000, even 6,400 ISO, because we were testing all of these, the noise doesn't look um, that ugly either, even when you push the ISO, it, it, you can kind of get away with it. Looking back for the rushes, I've been really impressed with the image quality. You really can't tell that this has been shot on a DSLR. I like the camera, I think it's you know taken a st another step forward. I think people wanting high production values on a low budget shoot, this is a really great camera for them.